Well, welcome into the Oklahoman's Video Studio. I'm Dave Morris, alongside Mike Knopp. He's the Executive Director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation. Uh, it's good to catch up again with you, sir. Great to be here, Dave. Thanks yeah. for navigating all the uh, the interesting things happening outside our windows today. It is an interesting day in downtown Oklahoma City. Downtown yeah. Oklahoma City, so yeah. it's right in the heart of things. We had some window washers uh, have ooh, a scary morning atop the Devon Tower. Yeah, very scary, but I'm sounds I'm glad they're glad everyone's safe. Firefighters rescued yeah. them. We're going to get into some of the rescue efforts that happens down at the Boathouse District that Mike Knopp uh, and his facility help out with. But first of all, the big Whitewater Festival coming up this weekend. Yeah, just uh, on Saturday, we can't believe it's already that time of year to have the Whitewater <laughs> Festival, but we're very excited about it. Um, this will be our, our third year to do this event, and uh, it's just really a fun event. It's a celebration of this very unique uh, you know, differentiating amenity we have here in Oklahoma City, truly unique in the country, really the world, and um, to have this urban whitewater adventure experience. And so we're going to have a lot of activities all day Saturday, um, starting with the River Sport Challenge, which is a, a combination kayak race and 5K. No experience required in the kayak race. You actually <laughs> paddle in the, in the bottom pool without the rapids on of the Whitewater Center, and you do a little loop, and then you get out, and then you go uh, run a 5K. And um, you know, like you do. <laughs> just, yeah. I mean, and we provide the boats and the, the PFDs, and all you got to do is get out there and paddle. It's, it's a lot of fun, and um, people seem to really enjoy that race. And so, uh, still, registration is open and available, so we encourage people to just give it a try. It's something very unique and different. And then, the other thing um, going on that's very fun and unique with the Whitewater Festival, aside from the fact that we're going to have, you know, great food, music, just activities all day, but we're going to have this thing called Boater X, and this is uh -oh. the second year we've done this. I think and I remember this from yeah, last year. This is the, uh, the 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 paddlers plunge into the Whitewater from a, over ten feet off a platform. From the bridge, yeah, your Game of Thrones platform that you launch yeah, in from that, into the exactly water. Exactly right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you you fall off, and then and then from there you race and kind of kind of battle your way down the course. Uh, some full contact in, involved in the in the uh, in the race to the bottom, and um, it's a lot of fun to watch. It's a lot of fun to participate in if you're so uh, inclined. It, registration is open for that as well. You know, uh, weather-wise, temperatures are perfect for stuff like this. We're talking yeah. mid-80s this week. Perfect time to be on the water. Perfect time to be on the water. Perfect time to just come out, hang out, relax, watch the activities. And, and you know, what's cool about it is we're going to have boater wrecks going on. We'll have whitewater rafting for everyone, so you can go raft yourself down the down the course. Well watching these uh, really fun activities go on all around you. It is a family place if you haven't been out there. At the Boathouse District, the Whitewater Festival is coming up this Saturday. You can go to riversportokc.org for more information. Other activities I see include the Whitewater uh, Stand Up Paddle uh, Board Clinic, Dog Adoption Clinic uh, event, I should say. Yeah. Lots of family stuff. A lot of family stuff. I mean, if you're, uh, if you're looking for a dog, this would be a great place to come. <laughs> and we're very, very dog friendly venue. Uh, um, you know, it kind of goes with the whole outdoor culture we're really tr building and, and just getting people outside with their. And we have a dog park now that you can come and, and uh, take your dog to. And, um, and then, you know, like I said, adoption event this weekend. Um, stand up paddle boarding is one of the fastest growing water sports in America. And uh, we've got a, a fleet of brand new boards, and we're going to be doing clinics uh, this weekend as well. I've tried the stand-up paddle board. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy. you got to yeah, have that you, core. You know, it's, a, it's a great core workout. Yeah. You know, in fact, we're going to be doing a stand-up paddle board yoga uh, coming up. Of again, course you of are. Of course you are. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great, um, again, core building exercise on the water. If, if yoga wasn't hard enough. <laughs> right, um, exactly. You know, in a studio, being, being on the water adds a little new dynamic to it. All right, again, the Whitewater Festival is this Saturday down at the Boathouse District, riversportokc.org. For more information, there you see the details. Paige Dillard producing fires up the website. Okay, so we mentioned that training. Uh, there's a whole lot of things that you guys use your mm -hmm. facility out there at the Boathouse District to do, including working with local fire and rescue officials for training. We do a lot of first responder training. I mean, the, the over the last few weeks, we've had a lot of um, rescue crews, first responders in, in River Sport Rapids doing many different types of exercises. Obviously, this is the time of year when we have flash flooding events, um, you know, 
hurricanes, you know, are around the corner, and we've had many of our rescue crews go and support hurricane relief efforts. But um, just with all the rain we've had, I mean, we've we've certainly have seen the you know what what occurs in flash flooding conditions, and so our first responders can come into River Sport Rapids. We can simulate all different types of conditions, whether it be uh, using boats, so you know, inflatable boats to go and and power through the swift water to uh, using ropes and rescue techniques to get people out of moving water. So um, it's it's one of the safest and really best places that you can do this kind of training in America. And so we're gonna um, we're actually gonna host a conference in in August uh, with in because of this venue. Uh, but beyond all of that, we also are a training center for a physical and, and uh, mental health really for first responders and that you know working out in the Devon Boathouse in our high performance center through a program with Exos and Mercy which is a, a great really great fitness program uh, where police and fire come together and and um, you know it's a functional training so it really helps uh, very appropriate types of exercises to support the needs that they have as first responders. I know some of the uh, the officials this morning covering the uh, the situation where Devon Tower credited the training that they are constantly going yeah. through various scenarios yeah. that they are uh, able to handle the numerous situations yeah. they deal with. That's right, and we just try to leverage what we have available in our world in the Boathouse District, and and uh, I think it's really great and it's working, and it's just an example of how we have a world class recreational and sport resource that has another function. Yeah. Let's get caught up on a few other things, and let's start with MAPS 3, the surplus uh, new projects. What's what's new? Well, designs are underway. Uh, we've got an architect in place, and, uh, and several uh, several projects um, we're hoping to get started here later this year, and we, we the, the intent is the all of the projects will be done by next year in 2020. Um, you know, this includes uh, the second floor of the Whitewater facility that will allow us to have uh, a large indoor conference space um, doing lots of different events and meetings and leadership programming. But we're we'll, going to have some many new really, really cool attractions that are going to kind of elevate the experience, that outdoor adventure experience, whether it be new water features, zip lines, things like that that will be available for the, for the families and uh, just really just enhance the overall amenity that we have here in the Boathouse District. All right, good stuff. Uh, you've also had some other events uh, and activities mm -hmm. uh, so far this season, youth championships. Uh, I believe you have a collegiate conference championship underway or, or perhaps upcoming. Yeah, I tell you what, we've been busy every weekend for the past month and a half on the river. A lot of activities every weekend. Last weekend was the youth uh, River Sport Youth League Championship, which was a really great event. Multiple middle school and high school, urban schools out. Uh, racing on the river, just show, showcasing the opportunity, the very unique opportunity for kids in our city. And, uh, and so that went on, and then the weekend before that, we had the Central Youth Championship with over 1,500 athletes from across the region here uh, competing. And then this weekend, we have the uh, uh, American Collegiate uh, Conference Championship, which is, you know, teams like Tulsa, and, um, but also University of Connecticut, and a temple and many others here racing in their championship on the river. So this is an economic impact, you know, opportunity for Oklahoma City as we continuously see all the, the teams and groups coming to Oklahoma City uh, for to, to, to utilize our great facilities. You bring in big groups, these big groups have to eat, they have to sleep, they have yeah. to go somewhere while yeah, they're here. Exactly. Spend some money. That's right. All right, well, this weekend, uh, the Whitewater Festival again down at the Boathouse District. You can find more information at riversportokc.org for this weekend's activities as well as future activities, upcoming activities, and season passes. You can purchase those on their website as well. 50% yeah, off right now, season passes until Memorial Day. So right, Very good. Crazy. He's Mike Knopp, Executive Director of the Oklahoma City Boathouse Foundation. As always, thanks for your time. Thank you, Dave.